Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button so that you can get notified of the newest videos going up. For those of you guys that have been with us from the beginning, welcome. Take a seat. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of June 2021. Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Pisces? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you have your emotions on check. Uh, everybody's a bit confused right now with this retrograde. All right. <laughs> it's a confused. And what do we have here? We have the Moon card. Okay. We have the Justice card. Five of Wands. Prince of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Four of Swords. Okay. Whew. And I looked at the bottom. Five of Cups. Pisces. I feel that you guys have been going through this emotional turmoil the past couple of months. Five of Cups as a general energy is representing... Feeling hurt. I feel that for a lot of you guys, you may be feeling confused or you may be experiencing the feeling of being confused, um, not knowing exactly what it is that you want. For some of you guys, this could represent some type of being let down or feeling like emotionally someone let you down. Now we're starting off with the moon card. A lot of secrets, a lot of things that are being kept in the hidden are starting to come to light with the justice card. This is karma and this is balance. Whatever we put out is what comes right back to us. The five of wands, a lot of chaotic energy, arguments, fights. Um, this is almost like I see you guys being extremely passive aggressive. Um, and if you're not dealing with this energy, this could be the energy that you're feeling of those around you. Um, it's almost like, yeah, they're being very bold right now. Um, I feel more strongly like this is your energy, Pisces. So it could be pent up aggression. It could be pent up frustration. Um, but these scales are starting to balance. Whatever has been kept in the hidden or has been kept from you will be revealing. And that's something that you probably have been experiencing the past month and a half. But I feel that June is definitely a culmination of that. There is basically karma is unfolding for those that have wronged you, for those that have been double dealing, for those that you've entrusted, you've given your love to. Um, and they've taken that for granted. Now, for some of you, if you've been double dealing or if you've been underhanding someone that is karmically connected to you, um, this could be relatives, this could be friends, this could be people that you choose to be around. If there are certain things that you've been trying to hide or, like I said, double dealing or underhand them in something, that's going to be coming out in the open this month. So just be mindful of that because I feel that this could potentially affect those around you or those that live with you because we have the four of wands here. So this could represent the family dynamic, the connection, or um, the dwelling, meaning where you live. With the Prince of Pentacles, um, maybe dealing with earth energy. You may also may be dealing with a Libra. You may be dealing with another Pisces or water energy, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but what they're saying here is if you've been experiencing a lot of chaotic energy, a lot of confusion, a lot of just very toxic energy, I encourage you guys to, you know, take a step back and really analyze how you've been to other people, how you've treated other people. 
because with the five of wands and the justice card and the moon um this could represent like having to deal with chaos that we've created ourselves so again if you know you enjoy gossip here and there um be mindful you know don't be bad mouthing other people um because the chances of either people put like catching you in the in, in the moment that you're bad mouthing them is very heightened here um this could be kind of like the moment you say something they're like behind you or they hear that you're bad mouthing them or you know what i mean like it, it's it's very quick type of karma so be mindful of that now if you've been experiencing feeling like people have been underhanding you double dealing lying to you cheating deceiving you with the justice card you have to you know count take inventory of the effort and energy that you've put in these connections because justice is exactly you know not just karma but it also represents the need for balance and if you're the one that's overdoing and constantly overdoing and feeling like you're living in fear because you can't trust the person you're with with the five of wands it's it's not it's not to do with like you're overthinking about it no they're showing you through actions that this is a person that is unworthy of your trust through actions four of swords is that of taking a step back analyzing like i said taking inventory of those that are around you who are you choosing to put effort in and who are those that are genuine to you that you're not appreciating or that you're not listening to their advice four of swords is reflection you have to reflect on your actions you can't keep moving forward in life blaming other people for hurting you for deceiving you for letting you down when they're clearly showing you through physical action that they're not to be trusted this is something that has more to do with you than how others treat you. Because if I see someone that is mistreating me, the moment that I feel I'm being taken for granted is the moment I pull my energy back. And I say, no, 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 no. Now you step up and show me. You got to earn my effort. But if I don't do that and I continuously keep, you know, well, maybe they'll show me tomorrow. Well, maybe they'll show me next month. Well, maybe they'll show me next year. And then two years pass by and you're still thinking that they're going to prove to you. Then there's no practicality in that. That's called illusion. All right. I'm going to be pulling out an oracle card. Let's see what spirits direct message is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the month of June 2021. Yeah, and I would highly encourage you guys, um, you know, if you're going out or being around friends or being in a social setting, be careful not to overindulge because if you do have pent up emotions or if you do have like a lot of suppressed emotion, it may come out in a very scandalous way. <laughs> Especially when you're under the influence, it could get physical, you guys. So my advice is just watch what you drink and how you're feeling when you're drinking because you don't want to overindulge and then make a scene. At least I think you don't want that. All right. You have number two. So this is about luck. This is about probability, game of chance. For some of you guys, you may be going through this transition, like I said, of a karmic type of energy or karmic cycle 
where in the past you felt like you've been, like I said, very mistreated, like people haven't put the same effort that you've put into them. I feel that that's quickly going to be changing for some of you guys. But it's going to start with the need of you, like I said, acknowledging that and acknowledging what in you is allowing them or is choosing to allow them to mistreat you. This can also represent, you know, being put in a situation that is of a lucky coincidence. Now, I don't believe in coincidences, but I feel that this is almost like um, when you accidentally bump into an old friend, when you're going through this chaotic type of energy and the connection is just very strong, it's very prominent, and once they come into your life, you start to experience a lot of momentum and a lot of new beginnings. And I feel that that's definitely what's coming through with this number two card. Um, because it's about, it's basically talking about your luck is about to change. Unfortunately, sometimes we have to acknowledge this within us to be able to embrace a new beginning, a change. More than anything, that represents change. So again, there is certain behaviors that need to be adjusted certain friends that you need to reevaluate, there is change that is needed in order to put yourself in alignment with your path, with your destiny, with what is meant for you. All right, Pisces, I hope this gives you insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.